Hey guys, I'm Zenonia and welcome to the Lightning Talk. Today I will be sharing with you regarding build your own component library with Shad CN View. I'm from Malaysia and I'm the front end lead at Tripfile Inc. I'm also the core maintainer of Redix View and Shad CN View. So, first of all, what is traditional component library? So essentially I describe it as uh, the component library that the component li components API were designed such as uh, props, event, methods, and slots were designed by the author or the team itself. So I believe all of us has used what component library before. So definitely we will come across a few challenges. So first of all, we are always limited to the exposed API. Be, uh, be it exposed a thousand props or events, we always somehow limited. We just think at the back of my, our mind, Ah, I just wish that I could modify just uh, something of that component. Second challenge, uh, we always find it hard to customize the styling, especially when we are using, let's say, uh, Tailwind CSS or Uno CSS. We always need to force the important exclamation mark for the start to uh, assert the styling because uh, just the component library wasn't built around, uh, wasn't designed to have inline classes styling. The third of all, which is we always find it difficult to build a wrapper around it. Uh, so in my company, we were trying to build a design system, a component library around a component library because we want to have different styling, different component behavior and such. And we always find it so hard to do so. So I believe this problem has always been the case until Shad CN arrives. So this was the, the project was initially released last year on January. And since then, it has gained so much popularity in the React world. And it also affected the view as well as Swift world. So what is this Shad CN view? It is a, essentially a concept that are uh, for you to copy and paste accessible component into your project. And it solved all the problem that I mentioned earlier. Also, so I'm not going to talk about Shad CN UI because that project is built for React. So let's look at Shad CN view, which essentially is the same idea, same concept, but it is a community port viewport of Shad CN UI. And it is a collection of reuse, reusable components that you can copy and paste or use the CLI to add the components into your project. So it eliminates the three of the problems just now. So we are no longer bound by the exposed API. So right now we are free, we are free to design the how API however we like. So because all the component right now is in your project, you have the ownership of the component. So let's take a look at this button here. So you can add however, whatever props, events, slot props, you, however you want, anything you want into the button because right now you have ownership of that. Just design it as you see fit. Got it? The secondly, it, we always find it hard to customize styling and let's say the DOM positions of certain elements. No longer the case as well because of how ShadCN built on top of Reddit's view, it allows you to uh, use the primitive and to style the element itself here. So if you can see the menu trigger, we we pass in the class of our board, uh, like whatever classes here, and it would overwrite the, it will, not to say over, it will merge with the default classes by using Tailwind Merge. Other than that, uh, it also allows us to do uh, add, uh, whatever elements we want or move however the element we want to, rend to be rendered in the DOM. So let's say I want to add a separator or I want to add a span. In between the drop down options, yeah, no, no, we are no longer bound, but we, we can do whatever we want right now. And lastly, it no longer finds it difficult to build a wrapper because, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it is built on top of Redix View, which is uh, unstyled and accessible component library that you can build your design system around it. Also, we are using Tailwind CSS, which is super easy to customize by either using your CSS variable or the uh, Tailwind config to fit your own project. So let's look at how could we customize it instead of just 
uh, showing, uh, talking about the point. Let's look at the case. So here in the repository, uh, if you initiate, if you include dialogues into a component, you will receive all this .view file as well as this index.cx. So let's look at how we can customize it to your own project. So right now, uh, let's say I have this dialogue overview. Let's say I don't want to have black layout. I can just modify it. I can change the styling here. I also can change the animations however I like for this overlay. And here, dialogue content, you can see that here we have a CN functions, which is the essentially a functions that merges, uh, Tavi merges as well as CLSX together. So right now, the first parameters here is designed by us, the Shed CN uh, library. And prop dust class essentially is what you want to merge with. Let's say you don't want to ha uh, have left one stroke two, you want to have left 33%. In your component usage, you can just change, you can just add the class equals to left dash 33%. And it will merge and overwrite this specific field and persist all the other file, uh, all the other styling here. You don't need to have exclamation mark or anything. And of course, you can add whatever component icon you want. It's no longer bound by the specific icon library. You can change however you want. So these are just some of the quick preview of how to customize it. There's so much more I would love to share with you. Unfortunately, I don't have the time today. Uh, so do give us a star as well as check out the doc. There's so many things for you to customize. So if you look at the team, you can change however you want, as well as there's a, a lot of pre-made blocks for you to copy and paste into your project. So that's all for me. See you next time. <laughs>